In this Filmora tutorial, I'll show you how to customize your toolbar in Filmora 11 going forward. Now, this is something that has been availed in the latest version of Filmora 11.6.6 and it is super helpful especially if you want to only have the tools that you usually use when editing available. Now, this is the toolbar that we're going to be customizing and by default or before you add any media to the timeline, this is what the commonly used items look like. But the minute I add this particular video to the timeline, let's just keep project settings, a bunch of new options appear from what we had to other extra options that include speech to text, text to speech, the slide edit ETC. Really awesome tools for functionality. Now, to customize your toolbar, then you'll need to click on these dots that indicate custom toolbar click on that and from this section you'll see all these different options available down here so if you'd like to remove something that you never ever use then you can just hold this and drag it there and it is gone and basically you can just keep going on and on and on and on until you're satisfied with what you want let's assume you never use the chroma key uh, you cannot do away with that uh, we keep going uh, maybe uh, you'd like to remove maybe the silence detection uh, looks good uh, I think that looks good for now maybe you don't use the crop as much and if you're satisfied with this you can click on save now you can also drag all these options to move them where you want them to be based on how you feel comfortable to use them but let's click on save and once you do that we have a new shorter timeline or customized toolbar for our needs it's really awesome simple to do what if you wanted to bring back everything as it was in the beginning or the default version of filmora go back to custom toolbar here and click on reset and once you do that all the icons for the different options and tools will be availed back inside the uh, custom toolbar in filmora I hope this tutorial is of value and that you can use this to customize your toolbar the way you edit, speed up your workflow uh, and hopefully uh, reduce getting confused when you're searching for these tools. And that's it from me. My name is David and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching this video.